Hey everybody, you're uh, with me here on a high performance job site in southern New England. Uh, we're using a pretty non-typical set of assemblies so we thought we'd show you a little bit about it. We're going for passive house levels of performance here so we have very stringent air tightness goals that we want to meet. We have a stick frame 2x8 wall with sheathing on the inside and then 2 and 3 8 inch worth of rigid wood fiber insulation on the outside of it. Uh, then we have a 16 inch TJI roof frame, also sheathed on the inside, and then two and three eighths inch worth of wood fiber insulation on the outside of it, and then a vented assembly above that. And this set of assemblies should help us get there as well as give a highly insulated, highly efficient, very airtight, hygrothermally stellar performance wall and roof assembly. And why don't we walk through a couple of the details. So, uh, what we have here are the first connections for our air barrier and our air tightness or our air control layers. Uh, and where we start here is we have a bulb gasket that goes in between the top of our concrete stem wall and our green plate here. So that makes a seal between the concrete, which is effectively airtight, and the bottom of our green plate. And then what's going to happen is, is we're going to have a taped connection from our green plate up here onto our rim. We'll tape our corners or any splices in the middle of the run. And then what we have is we have a turn that starts to happen here. So our tape goes from our rim joist up onto our subfloor. And that effectively turns this 90 degree angle and sends our air control layer into the inside of the building. What will happen later is, is we'll sheath the inside of the wall and we'll tape from the subfloor to that sheathing on the inside of the wall, which then makes the turn directing us from the horizontal plane vertically up the wall with our air barrier. And now we have a solid 2x8 16 on center frame structure. So this is starting off the construction of our, our thermal control, the, the super insulation of this home. So we already have a lot of room right here for uh, insulation. Like uh, this is above code to begin with. But what we're going to do next is we're going to take and we're going to use rigid wood fiber insulation that goes right out right down to the bottom of the foundation, completely insulates for no thermal bridging from the foundation all the way up the wall assembly. And so some of what's going on here is, is why do we have the sheathing to the inside? Well, this is a couple of things. It puts the air barrier in a warm and protected location. And that uh, sheathing, that CDX plywood on the inside is also functioning as our vapor barrier, our vapor modulation for this wall assembly. And what that's doing is in a cold climate, it's slowing the loading of the vapor into the wall assembly. And as that vapor passes through, that moisture is never going to encounter anything that's more vapor closed than that plywood. So it's allowing drying to happen rapidly to the outside here so we never have any accumulation or buildup of moisture inside of the wall assembly. We also are now completely thermally broken, two and three eighths worth of insulation here. We're vapor open and all of our control layers are on the warm side and protected inside of the assembly. So now we're taking a look at some of the details of our roof frame construction here. And what we have are 16 inch TJIs uh, with an applied two by four on top of them to give us a total effect of 17 and a half inches worth of thickness here. Uh, that's what we needed to hit our performance goals. These will be filled with dense packed cellulose. Uh, like the wall assembly, we'll have plywood that travels up the wall, is taped and connected, and travels all the way across the bottom plane of the roof surface here. That's forming our air barrier and our vapor control. Uh, another detail of note is, is because we have a low head height wall here, uh, and we needed to get our headers into it, so we have flush framed headers up above our wall opening that allow us to keep that slim sight line above the window. This roof plane, like I mentioned, will be covered with plywood. And in order to maintain that as our air barrier with no penetrations, what we'll do is we'll add a two by four on the flat uh, below that, creating an inch and a half service cavity that travels all the way across the roof here. Additionally, on the walls, we have a second wall framed to the interior out of two by fours. That'll be insulated with mineral wool, which is inside of the air barrier. So any of our service penetrations inside of the house all happen inside of the air barrier. We'll only have a limited number that actually penetrate through our air barrier to the outside, which makes it that much easier to control our air tightness.